Well, GRG International is shelling out some big cash to expand its overseas operations. The Melbourne-based ATM producer is signing a $25 million deal to buy Triton, a major manufacturer of off-premise cash machines in the United States. Now, the target boasts over 200,000 ATMs in more than 24 countries. GRG saying the move will see its annual revenues up over $55 million and assets increased by over $25 million. Now, the company already sells its ATMs and related services into North America, the UK, South Africa and India. Here to talk to us more about uh, the Triton acquisition, we have Jeff Barrow, CEO and Chairman of GRG International, live from our Melbourne studio. And a very good morning or afternoon now to you. Uh, Triton's a huge player in the cash machine market. As I mentioned, over 200,000 installations in over 24 countries. Uh, is this not a case of a fish swallowing a whale to some degree? Uh, good afternoon to start with. Uh, it could well be described as the, uh, the mouse that roars, yes. Uh, it is a, a unique and basically historical that uh, no Australian company has ever been an owner-operator of an ATM manufacturing uh, facilities before and uh, it's a very strategic move for us to allow our expansion into North America, United Kingdom, and India in particular. So, uh, yeah, it is a very interesting move for us and something we've been working on for quite a period of time. So a plus 25 million US dollar price tag, uh, we're getting, or you're getting debt from an Asian private equity fund for most of this. This doesn't include, though, additional amounts to be paid to private Triton shareholders. How are you funding that aspect of the deal? Uh, no, that's inclusive. It's the, uh, the, the 25 million dollars is the total acquisition price. Uh, there is a uh, management retention program and uh, that's just part of our working capital program. Was it difficult to get uh, cash in, in the current credit environment? Yeah, definitely. Um, we would like to have sourced it from within Australia, but uh, we, we quickly uh, arranged the relationships uh, through Asia and uh, that's all come through did, very nicely for us. Did you find that the, uh, the willingness for funds to flow from Asia back into Australia's domestic market a little bit more uh, manageable or, or I suppose achievable than the, the, the banks domestically via syndicated loans or, or issuing a potential uh, uh, debt issuance to raise capital? I mean what I'm trying to get a picture of is that in effect this is uh, another way of a foreign investment coming into Australia. It's been a talking point amongst uh, political circles this week certainly with the uh, the potential purchase of Cubby House. Uh, essentially, I guess, uh, I mean, what's your argument in relation to the fact that businesses are being forced to, to get foreign investments, otherwise they can't move forward? Uh, that's partially correct, yes, that uh, we've had to get our funding through Asia rather than through Australia. Um, but it's allowed an Australian company to make an offshore acquisition, so it's a little mm. bit reverse to some of the other examples you've created. Mm. Uh, very beneficial for us because we'll be expanding our R&D and product development engineering operations here in Australia as well as uh, expanding throughout uh, Europe and, uh, and Africa, India, etc. And uh, Triton owns real estate and manufacturing facilities in the US as well. Do you intend to keep those operational? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Are there integration the plans? Yeah, we have an integration plan to integrate our current North American operations in, integrated with Triton. We currently have GRG banking products, which is a very high-end, sophisticated products. And then we have Triton, which is the lower-end retail-based product. So we're really combining two products to end up with a very competitive joint offering. Jeff Barrow, CEO and Chairman, GRG International, thank you so much and congratulations on this very exciting deal for your company. Yeah. Terrific. Thanks very much again. Let's go now.